Hey everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to choose, set up and use a VPN or virtual private network. My name is Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. Let's get started. There is a simple way we can protect our privacy online and we can get full access to the content and data all over the world. We can do all that by using a VPN. VPN gives anonymity and privacy online by creating a private network from a public connection. The question is that how VPN works. VPN makes a private network between the user and the server and lets the user communicate with the server using that private connection. VPN masks the internet protocol address as our online actions get untraceable. VPN establishes a secure and encrypted connection which provides greater privacy. So the question is, why do we need the VPN? Well, when we use a public place internet, for example, in a restaurant, movie theater, or even at the airport, there is a great chance that we could be exposing our private data and our surfing and transaction history. This is why we should be using a VPN which will ensure that we are not exposing anything in terms of our data and internet usage history. As we all know that internet works on the concept of sessions. So whenever you connect to a public network, it means your session has begun. Now in that session, all of your browsing history, your transaction pattern, or even your email can be logged, which can be very fatal in severe circumstances. So the question is that what are those things that we have to protect or we have to hide while using the VPN? The answer is simple. Your browsing history, your IP address and location, your devices and your web activity, etc. Another question arises, how to choose a VPN service? Well, there is a bundle of VPN which are available in the market. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. And some of them provide free and paid services. There are some features that a VPN should have. Some of them are privacy. The point of using any VPN is to protect your privacy, all right? So if a VPN doesn't protect your privacy, then there is no point in using it. Then we have protocol. There are VPNs which are open source and they provide stronger security than any other protocol. For example, we have OpenVPN which is an open source virtual private network and it supports most of the major operating systems. Let's talk about the server location. If I want to access the data of let's say Germany or anywhere in France, then I should make sure that the VPN I'm going to use has a server or services in that particular area or country. Before choosing a VPN, there must be a consideration of usage. If I want to use VPN only on one device, then obviously my choice would be different. And if I want to use it on multiple devices, then it will force me to go for one which offers the services for multiple devices. Let's talk about the cost. Cost is one of the most important factors while deciding or choosing the VPN. Cost plays a significant role before going to buy a VPN. An option comes into everyone's mind and that is why we should not go for the ones which are offering the services for free. We'll talk about that aspect in detail later in this video. As there are a lot of VPNs available and each of them offers services with a different price range. So we need to choose the one which offers better features within our price range. Now let's talk about the free VPN and the paid ones. Well, a question comes into our mind that when we have a free VPN available, then why we should pay hard earned bucks for the VPN? Well, there are a lot of differences between them. So let's see what a free VPN do not offer 
and what are its drawbacks of using it. So when you use free VPNs, they do not offer the latest current and secure protocol. This means that there are chances that your web surfing, browsing history, and your data may get compromised. And they also have a high disconnection rate, which means they can break any time when you are using them. And it may result in a breach or leak of your data and browsing history. Unpaid VPNs also do not have the support, which means in case you have some query or some problem using the VPN, and because you're using the free version, you might not get the official support or help from the vendor as they are not obliged to offer any, right? Unpaid VPNs do not have many servers in many countries as the paid ones. When you use the free version of VPN, it allows you to connect in the three or four countries and you will have access to only those three or four countries. As you can see on my screen, as I am using the free version and I have access to only four countries. And if I want to have access to more than four countries, I have to buy the premium services. One of the most noticeable factors you can or you may feel while using the free version of any VPN, the speed of browsing or the response from the servers gets slow or maybe half of what it was before using the VPN. So that is all because the using the VPN, it slows down the speed and does not offer the highest bandwidth for free users. So we have seen that we do have the options to use the VPNs, which are free, but of course we have limitations while using them. All these limitations basically paid VPNs made them go away. So now the question is that which paid VPN we should be using. As there are a lot of options, there are many which offer very good features and perform very well in every circumstance. We will look into some of them. The first one is ExpressVPN. So in order to access the ExpressVPN, go to their website, expressvpn.com, and then click on this yellow button, which says get ExpressVPN, and it would take you to a page something like this. Here we have three plans. One month plan, which is like $12.95 per month. And then we have the most popular one in which you have to pay for 15 months, and it's just for $6.67 per month and then you have the six months plan all right so you can pick any of the popular plan that you would want to and then you just need to add here the email address your payment information and then you can buy this and on the cost it basically gives you the services like 24 by 7 customer support by live chat. It gives you ultra fast servers in 94 countries. And it gives you the apps for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and other operating systems. It's best in class security and encryption. It keeps no activity logs and no connection logs. And it's a 30 day risk free. And if you're not satisfied, you can get your money back. So the second virtual private network on our list is Surfshark. So Surfshark is one of the most well-known VPN over the internet. For that, you just have to go to surfshark.com or you could go to surfsharkbiz.com. Basically, it would get you to the same link, okay? It would redirect you to surfshark.com. And here uh, you have the buy now button, okay? So today it says 81% off. So they have most reliable plans when it comes to the uh, bulk purchase. Like for example, if you are purchasing it for 24 months, you're gonna get it for just $2.49 per month, okay? So uh, this is the best plan that you could get, all right? And everyone buys this. So the thing is that we are also gonna buy this 24 months plan, all right? We have already purchased it, uh, we'll show you. Um, how to log in in this and uh, we'll show you how to uh, set up a download and set up Surfshark on your browser. So uh, we have bought this plan, you can get it. And uh, if we talk about some of the features, like 
uh, it includes unlimited devices okay for surfshark you can use it on as many devices as you want the content delivery is really fast it talks about clearly about no logs policy which means that it doesn't keep track of your whatever you do over the internet gives you full privacy uh, and security and uh, 24 by 7 customer support and then it also give you the enterprise grade infrastructure and reliability which means that you could use vpn um, with your team or in inside your company if you want to so let's say that you have entered all the information and you have bought this plan 24 months like 2.49 dollars per month so now let's go ahead and let's try to log in okay so when you will buy this you will get your login information you can buy the VPN according to your choice. So just go ahead and just click on it. Uh, basically search for Surfshark login. And here on this page, click on the login button. Here type in the email address, whatever it is. So now we have entered our email and password. And now we're going to click on login. So we click on login and then uh, we'll be logged in here. So from here, we can download the apps and extensions for Surfshark for uh, different browsers and different operating systems. We can download it for Mac, Windows, Linux. We can download it for Chrome browser, for Firefox, okay? And we can also use it for smart TVs. And we can also download it on our mobile devices like on Android and iOS. So of course, our platform is Windows and we wanna download it for Chrome. So what we will do is that we will click on the download button, okay, Surfshark for Chrome. And it will take us to a page something like this, which says Surfshark VPN extension, and then we'll add it to the Chrome. So click on that. Uh, it would ask you for the confirmation. So click on add extension. And now the extension has been added successfully. Uh, we have to log in, of course, all right? So whenever you will add the extension of Surfshark, here it would ask you for your email and password once again. So we'll type in here our email, and then we'll type in here our password. So once you have entered your email and password, just click on login, and it will automatically log in, and then uh, you can connect Surfshark uh, with any of the countries, and then you can start using it. So let's say right now uh, it's connected with India. So let's say if I want to connect it to some other location, um, what I can do is that I can scroll through it. There are like a lot of countries available here. And let's say that if I want to connect it to Sweden, okay? So I'll just click on connect. And now my VPN is connected to the Sweden location okay they have the server in sweden and it's connected over there and now i'm accessing the internet as a user who who's accessing internet from like sweden so i hope that now you understand how a vpn or virtual private network works and what should be the qualities we should be looking for while choosing a vpn and finally we talked about the difference between a free vpn and the paid ones and then we have discussed that how you can compare between different VPNs. And of course, we have shown you cheaper one that which one you could buy, which is the best value for the money and which has the good services as well. So we have added them. So that's it from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Skills Build Training, to help you advance your IT career.